Hello, this is Tanner Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to make a floppy drive piano. So, most of you have probably heard of musical floppy drives on YouTube, but I don't think I've ever seen someone actually make a piano to play those musical floppy drives. So, first starting with the piano keyboard. So, I 3D printed all the keys and the bass. I designed the keys myself in a CAD program and I used my Maker Gear 3D printer to print them. The base is made of popsicle sticks. So if you look at the wiring of this piano keyboard, you can see that on the buttons, ground is connected to one pole through a 10 kilo ohm resistor, 5 volts is connected to the other pole, and the other pole of the button that has the resistor attached to it, before the resistor, it is attached to the pin of the Arduino. The whole piano is connected through a ribbon cable to the Arduino. Here is the ground and positive, and here are the ribbon cables going from the 10 keys to 10 pins. So now, moving on to the floppy drive configuration. The floppy drive is powered by this computer PSU. I pulled both of these things out of an old computer. This is the circuit diagram of how I connected my floppy drive to the Arduino. So, originally I tried to connect the floppy drive pins directly to the Arduino, but that didn't seem to work for me. So I had to use two small NPN transistors. I used the 2N3094 transistor. So, what I did is I used a 10 kilo ohm resistor to connect the transistor base to the pins of the Arduino. Then I put the emitters of both transistors to ground of the Arduino and the floppy drive. The collectors of the transistors I put to each pin on the floppy drive that needs connecting. So I have the step pin and the direction pin. After I was finished with this whole design, I added a push button in between the resistor and the Arduino that controls the direction of the floppy drive. I will explain this reason later in the video. Pin 12 and the ground of the floppy drive were connected because pin 12 turns on the floppy drive. This is the part of the schematic that shows the buttons on the piano and how they're connected to the Arduino. This is the breadboard that I used to hold the transistors and resistors. Here is how it's connected to the floppy drive. Here is the code that I used for my floppy drive piano. So, I have all the inputs. I have the select pin, the step pin, and all the piano pins. I called these key A, key B, and so on. I also have the button state ints inside here too. In void setup, I just have it setting all the key pins to input and the select and step pins to output. Before I go into the void loop, I'm going to look at each letter. So, starting with void A, what it does is it steps the stepper motor for 0.1 milliseconds and then it stops the stepper motor for 24 milliseconds. It took me over five hours to figure out which number combination works the best. And it took me even longer to figure out which number combination corresponds to the letter that, of the tone that it makes. So as you can see, I made a letter for each of the 10 keys on my piano. So when you see it and it says double C, that just means C one octave higher. And same with all the other double letters. And as you can see, all the numbers on these are different. The only number that stays the same is how long this stepper motor is on for. Only the delay is changing, and that changes the tone. In void loop, the first thing that I have is the button states corresponding to the key which they represent. Then I have the select pin on high, which I will explain even later in the video. Then I have a bunch of if-else statements nestled inside each other. 
I have the first if statement. If the A key is high, then it plays A. Else, in the else section, I have another if else statement. In the else section of that, I have another if else statement. And it's pretty much all the same for the next ten if else statements until the last else statement, which is the step pin is low. And so it keeps cycling through all of these. Um, it makes the piano play just fine. All the code will be in the description for you to see and use for yourself. So, now to the actual testing of the piano. So, now for the test. When I press this button, it switches the direction of the floppy drive. This is what I was waiting till the end of the video to show. So, this is the same push button that's inserted in between the resistor and the pin for the direction control pin on the floppy drive. The reason I added a transistor there still instead of just completely bypassing the transistor is because the signal from the floppy drive would get lost. So I needed the transistor to amplify it again because the wire I use for my switch is long. On my floppy drive piano I can play the keys and the floppy drive will move in one direction but as soon as it gets so far in one direction that it can't move anymore I have to release the button and it will move back down to where it's supposed to go so when you play this piano you have to constantly be pressing the button on and off and pressing the keys so this can be done by looking at the floppy disk the whole time and using this key as sort of a foot pedal. So, now to hear some actual songs played on this little piano. First I'm going to play the scale and then I'm going to play the Star Wars Imperial March. I'm not too good at it. So, I'll start by inserting the floppy disk just for effect. and. Here we go. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.